Governments use treasury bills, known as T-bills, to borrow money quickly from the public, using it for things like building projects, budget gaps, or everyday expenses. They pay back this borrowed money when the T-bills mature, using funds from taxes and a growing economy to cover their debt. In this lesson, we'll look at two examples involving T-bills, the first one that is specific to the Canadian system, and the second one that involves the American system. There is a slight difference between the two, so make sure that you watch both examples to catch that difference. In question number one, we're asked, compute the price of a 13-week or 91-day Canadian T-bill if the rate is 5%. Assume a face value of $5,000. What this means is that the government will pay you back $5,000 after 91 days if a certain amount of money is used to purchase the T-bill. So what we're looking for in this question is how much the T-bill must be purchased today for it to mature to 5,000 in 91 days. To calculate this, we'll use a simple interest model. And to find the amount after simple interest has been applied, we use the formula A is equal to P plus PRT, where A is the final amount, which includes the principal plus the interest. P represents the principal, R represents the rate, and T represents the time. So the amount that we will be receiving is $5,000, and in for A, I'll place 5,000. P is what we're looking for, so P will be left blank in both of these terms. The rate is 5%, so we'll replace R in with 0 0.05, 5% divided by 100. And because this T-bill will mature in 91 days, when it comes to calculating this in the Canadian market, we take a year to be 365 days. Now, because 91 days constitutes a portion of that, we'll write in for T, 91 over 365. So in for T, I'll write down as a fraction, 91 divided by 365. Now, all I have to do is find a way to isolate for this variable P. We can do that quite easily by common factoring a P so I have 5,000 is equal to P, and in parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.05 times 91 over 365. We can evaluate this using our calculator, then divide both sides by whatever we find. So let's do that. On our calculator, we can write 1 plus 0 0.05 times 91 over 365. So that gives us what's within the parentheses. It's roughly equal to 1.01246. And so we have 5,000 is equal to P multiplied to that repeating decimal number. And then we divide both sides of the equation by that amount. So simply take 5,000 and divide it by 1.01246. And we end up getting roughly $4,938.47. What this number means is that if you were to buy this T-bill at 4,938.47, within 91 days, that will have matured to 5,000. So if you take the difference of this and the 5,000, you'll find out how much you have earned as a result of buying this T-bill. Moving forward, if you want to calculate this quickly, simply use the formula P is equal to A over 1 plus RT. This technically summarizes all the algebra that we did to reach that answer. Question two reads, compute the price of a 13 week, 91 day US T bill if the rate is 5%, assume a face value of 5,000. Now there are two major differences between how T bills are calculated in the US versus all over the world. And the first one is that rather than using 365 days, we use 360 days per year. The next difference is that T-bills in the United States takes on a discount loan model. So given that the face value is 5,000, we want to discount that back 91 days. So you take the amount 5,000 and subtract from that the portion of 5,000, that's 5%, multiply to 91 over 360. So we'll subtract from 5,000, 5,000 times 0 0.05, multiply to 91 over 360. And what this will amount to once we've computed it is the price of the T-bill today. We'll call it P. 5,000 take away 5,000 
multiply to 0 0.05, multiply to 91 over 360. Essentially, this is a 5% decrease from 5,000 given the 91 days out of 360. We end up getting a value of 4,936.81. decimal Essentially, we've discounted 5,000 back 91 days. So that is how much you would have to purchase it today. And notice the difference between this value and the value we calculated using the Canadian system. It's slightly different, a little lower, and that's how it is. If you have any further questions regarding treasury bills, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll gladly get back to you.